will be giving you the updates, travel updates about our uh, uh, going back to Dubai or to Abu Dhabi, traveling back to Dubai and Abu Dhabi. So, uh, like what I have said, uh, before going back you uh, to Dubai, since I'm actually from Abu Dhabi, kaya lang ang flight na ginamit ko is Emirates Airlines. So, one of the requirements is to have an ICA approval. So, what I did, my flight will be on 2nd of January 2021. And on 24th of December, I did this application. So, uh, I just entered my details. And then, in just 10 minutes, I got the approval. So, on that approval, it means you can go back to uh, Dubai. You can travel back to Dubai. So, and then after that, I have to also, one of the requirements is to have this negative PCR COVID test. So, what I did is like since on uh, January 2 will be my flight. So, I did the schedule on 30th of December to uh, Central Luzon uh, Doctor's Hospital. So, the cost will be 5,500. Meron din naman sa uh, Tarlac Provisional Hospital for 3,000. But then, since yung aking flight will be on 2nd, kaya medyo mahihirapan tayo dun sa uh, result. Kasi nga, they are back from work on, uh, what you call this, uh, 2nd of January. And then, uh, luckily, on 29th of uh, December afternoon, I got an email from Emirates Airlines that the flight canceled and it has to move on, uh, what you call this, 3rd of January. So, ang ginawa ko, I called the hospital CLDH to reschedule the, the test. So, like, it, it's very smooth. Uh, madali lang naman. So, on just to end up and to cut it short, so on 31st of December, I did the COVID testing in the morning at CLD8. And then at uh, January 2, uh, around before lunch time, I got the result. So, it's negative. So, ang main uh, requirements going back to Dubai is uh, like our uh, uh, ICA approval. And of course, this. Uh, COVID test negative result. And then of course as an OFW, you have to do your online B, uh, online, what you call this, OEC. So you can do it online since same company lang naman ang babalikan ko. So you can do it through online, BM online. And then, uh, on January 3, uh, on my flight, so ang mostly requirements ng Emirates Airlines, yun nga, OEC uh, number, ICA approval copy, and the uh, certificate, certificate of the COVID testing result. And then, uh, pagdating mo rin doon, meron din yung trace.ph. So, kung wala ka pang in, uh, application sa phone mo, they have the tablet and they will ask you to, to enter some details. And just in two minutes, they will be going to print out your... Uh, details there. So, yun lang. And then, uh, so, sa airlines, kailang, uh, sa pagdating sa Clark International Airport, airport kailangan mo yung uh, face mask, of course, and the uh, face shield. So, nung, uh, our flight is actually uh, 5 o'clock, 5.45, and we reach, I think, 10.30 in uh, Dubai. Since, I'm actually working in Abu Dhabi, but since uh, ang flight ko is from Dubai, uh, once we reach Dubai, you have to do this, uh, some application, like para uh, application for the like a department of health. So you will do some application there. Uh, pagkatapos noon, we did the COVID testing. So we did the COVID test uh, right after the arrival. So, kami, since Abu Dhabi, marami kaming mga medyo mahigpit. So, uh, pagdating namin doon, kailangan pa ako magpunta sa border. So, nagpunta ako sa border, in the border, uh, Abu Dhabi border, they will give you the watch, or what we call the tracker. So, this is the tracker. I will be uh, showing to you the tracker. So, uh, one of the requirements for a quarantine is 10 days quarantine. So you you will be having a watch or what we call the tracker, 
and like from uh like uh on day eight you have to do the swab testing so the swab testing will be like once you are negative on the 10th day you can remove the tracker so meron kami ready dito so home quarantine ka lang talaga nandun ka lang talaga sa bahay so like uh this is what we have to do now this is the new normal so we have to follow like strictly to follow kung hindi magkakaroon ka ng fine i stayed 10 days uh home quarantine and then after that uh on day eight i got the uh, i got the test and then on day nine i got the result negative on day 10 i have to remove the tracker and at the same time i uh, uh have to go to work so that's that's it uh this is our uh, traveling journey so on my first vlog last time i gave you the informations of like uh going back to philippines so like what I have said before, uh, nung nakarating ako sa Pilipinas, right after na receive namin yung uh, test result, which is very quick, uh, nakauwi na kami. But then of course, kailangan mong magistim mo na sa bahay para at least safe para sa lahat. So that's all. So uh, to those who wants to uh, go back to Philippines for a vacation, just always check the travel updates. So, kasi may mga bago na tayong ano ngayon. So, as of now, medyo mahigpit. Luckily, yung pag-alis namin is or yung pagbalik ko at saka yung pag-uwi, medyo okay. So, now, you, yeah, before going back to, uh, before traveling or going anywhere, just always check the travel updates in uh, on your destination. Para at least uh, less hassle. Kasi, kailangan natin sumunod. Uh, ito na yung bagong uh, rules. Uh, kindly like and share and subscribe. Thank you so much. Leave your comments for any info, uh, questions you have. So at least Tim Conher will be here answering your uh, uh, question. Like uh, some details of uh, traveling and going back. Thank you so much. So, thank you so much to all your support. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. God bless.